Hey, everyone, and welcome to the HR Vision Podcast. I'm Ivo, your host, and every week I'm going to have a conversation that matters about HR. Uh, in this first episode, I have Peter Wolbeck with me. So welcome, Peter. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you for having me in your uh, your podcast. You're welcome. Well, it's our podcast, actually, because Peter is the CEO and co-owner of Our Vision, the company that features this podcast and where I personally work as a content manager. So full disclosure here. Uh, so we're going to talk a bit about HR, of course, um, the, the the four vision uh the the company that um that we work for and why 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 hr the the, the hr technology specifically why all that but first for starters let's uh yeah let's have a bit about uh, let's hear a bit about yourself peter uh, and please give us a small introduction about you and and your professional background all right well good i'm uh, peter Wolbeek and uh well, actually, I started out to uh, with, with a technical background, so I have a technical uh, education. Uh, started early with uh, uh, involved in in Microsoft and Microsoft uh, products. Um, followed a lot of uh, Microsoft training uh, uh, back in that uh, back in the years. I, I must say, <laughs> um, uh, had some some Microsoft certifications, and well, when I did a lot with technique, um, I. Uh, I thought, well, hmm, that's more maybe than only ones and zeros, and uh, I want to have something in between. So uh, I would start looking at at human and human beings, and and being more involved with uh, well managing uh, managing employees. Move to to project management, and and well from project management, program managers uh, did did big international projects, and then uh, well the 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 adventure at uh, at Forvision started uh, as, uh, as as well. I'm always been uh, interested in. In, in repeatable solutions, so solution that we could do and then uh, well use again. Or in the early days when I uh, did desktop uh, replacements, I always looked at uh, hmm, how can I automate this and 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 make it a repeatable solution. And also the thing that I'm always interested in is is the the connection between the human being and and the, the technology. So how can technology work for employees? So how can technology really help? and the, the the human be to do his his work better yeah so more it's 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 the usability of it not only like the tool as a tool it, it looks nice and everything but the usability of the tool is really important for uh, for you yeah actually it is and in the early days i even did some some development it was not really my thing because to sit to behind a computer all day and not having any human interaction yeah uh, but but <laughs> Uh, well, not nothing to say to people that 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 like that, but uh, yeah, I was always want to go out and go to the customer. So the part of of getting the requirements from the customer and 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 the other way around, uh, bring to the customer what I had built in in uh, in an application. That was always the, the the nice part. So the in between development was not my thing. So that's uh, well, the human interaction and 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 the, the connection between the two worlds is uh, is what I like actually. Uh, Interesting. Uh, and was this human connection that brought you over to the HR area as a, you know, it's an area of expertise, HR technology, or, you know, it was a mix of both things. It was chance. What do you think it happened for you to focus on HR? <laughs> Well, it, it's well. I didn't pick. It picked me, or or at least it, it happened to me. Uh, I must okay. uh, must say. Um, but yeah, I think it's 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 very much in line with with what I like in in being the connection between technology and the human being. So well, when I started with human resources, it was uh, especially interesting because it was involving people and and people behavior and and people uh, um, education skills and and how people did in an organization uh, with a, with the right mix with with technology as well to uh, to support that so yeah it was really really in line with what i liked to uh, like to do so uh, but i did not really well choose for it 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 more happened with me and 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 i rolled into it i got involved in in human resource and i thought i think first first thing i thought it was it's too limited because it's only human resources and not all the other things. Because at that point, I did a lot of international projects with multidisciplinary projects with a lot of other applications. Uh, 
So I thought, well, it's maybe too limited. But from that point, I think it's it's very wide and 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 we're still exploring every day new things in in the human resource to to uh, uh, yeah. Interesting. Um, so I, I would like to talk a bit about the Microsoft connection. Of course, um, we work for Vision works mostly with uh, with Microsoft products. Um, you chose that path to be connected to Microsoft because of the the company itself. You were already used to work with their products. You think there's more um, extensibility, let's say, in their tools to actually extend functionalities, create something that actually works well with it. It happened by chance. What what no. was the what was well, the was, connection? Was, there? was again, I think, a very logical. Uh, um, well. Uh, continuation of my uh, 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 of my work because uh, I, I already started in Microsoft did everything with with, with Microsoft so uh, I rolled into a human resource and and of course then it was human resource based on uh, on Microsoft as, as, as well what I think is great from from Microsoft and and doing this within the Microsoft ecosystem is that well there's a whole Microsoft platform and actually in all companies and more and more companies now around the world they are using Microsoft products and uh, so that means they already have the platform for microsoft what well, starts out of course with a desktop having windows on your on your on your laptop uh, and then extending that to your to your network and uh, nowadays you could use the cloud and using azure uh, azure platform um so in line with that it's it's yeah it's great to also have then your hr system from uh, mm -hmm. from the microsoft platform and microsoft offers us so much of of tools and and platforms and things we can connect and things we can work together way and, and interface with uh, from from human resource so it's it's a uh, yeah a wide big toolbox uh, to to choose from to explore yeah it makes it makes the whole sense. Um, so, take us back to the creation of uh, of Four Vision. We um, we know that you and Bert found it, but uh, how how did it came to be? How 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 did it start? Well, I'm, I'm what's already from projects slowly moving into HR. So I was, was very much in, involved in HR and HR projects at that point. So I already met uh, um, uh, Bert from uh, from that. At that time, Bert was doing a, a HR solution from a UK vendor. Well, that UK vendor uh, decided to to not move on with uh, um, with, with implementations uh, via partners, but do it themselves. So that means that. That initiative well ended more or less, mm -hmm. uh, and from that point, um, yeah, we were both already very interested in in the Microsoft platform and HR on the Microsoft platform. So we were already working together in several projects. So uh, when well, Bert was looking for a new initiative to to do in Microsoft, he approached me, and and well, from that part, we uh, we started uh, for Vision as well, and only focused on HR and, and completely HR on the HR platform, or uh, sorry, on the Microsoft platform. Interesting. Um, so at that, at that stage, I believe it was AX, right? The, the platform that Microsoft had with uh, with an HR model in it, uh, module in it, right? It's, uh, it was even Accepta, I think. And I, yeah? I always have a problem because I, I, being so long in in the Microsoft uh, uh, ERP uh, um, uh, ecosystem, uh, the the name I think changed uh, uh, five times or so, and I always had problems to keep up with the name because I was always, well, behind referring to the product as Accepta, and then uh -huh. it became AX, and then it became well Human Resources, and then yeah. uh, HEM and and HRM, and uh, yeah, all kinds of names, but but actually still the same product or still the same yeah. foundation. Yeah. So uh, at that time, you were only doing implementation of that uh, of that software. Um, I I guess when when the, did it start? Like. The expansion, right? The the web apps, the extending functionalities within uh, within the tool. How how did that pro process came by? Well, very early on already, because uh, we, we took the standard product from Microsoft, and and actually I was very early involved already with uh, with the U human uh, resource module when Microsoft uh, bought it from a Danish partner, uh, and to put it in their ERP system, uh, and from the part well. 
was a great system, but it was wide, but it was not containing all the functionality. And especially we started in the Netherlands in, in doing projects um, and, and we just saw the, the, the product was not complete enough. So we, we started to extending the product for small things, uh, first very Dutch things that, that made it work for Dutch companies. But uh, then we realized, well, the things we are doing are interesting international as well. So we moved to the US, we presented it there and oh, it, it, it was all, uh, already the module and the things we, we did extra and, and developed was, was international, uh, also inter interesting for companies that, that work international with, with the HR module. So I think early on we, we realized already it's a great module and it, it has the capability to extend it. So um, yeah, let's, let's add it and let's add that specific functionality we need for customers. Very good. Um, yeah, the next step is about the company now, right? Mm. Uh, how 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 is it going now? Um, uh, what are you most proud of? Uh, you know, from for all these years, um, I know that you guys like to focus on what's ahead and not look at the past. But uh, mm. yeah, let's let's do that exercise. Well. The uh, Microsoft changed a lot in in their product and and the way they work and they the, the way they work with with partners as well. So in 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 all the well 11 12 years we we're now uh, uh, doing this completely with 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 Microsoft platform. We each time had to adopt and 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 adapt uh, a new technology and new uh, new changes in uh, in that. And I think also that's where uh, I'm at least the most proud of that we um I won't call it survive, but I, I, I call it uh, adapting and changing our technology and, and doing different things. And, and each time we're doing new things following Microsoft and, 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 and making a change to the company or almost reinventing ourselves uh, sometimes. Do you feel that uh, HR is more, it, it's, you, you feel that there are more companies now looking for HR modules for a way to automate and get better functionality within their HR departments than you felt 12 years ago or 11 years ago when uh, when everything started? Yeah, I think that changed over years as well in, in, in the focus in, well, maybe maybe it's good to see that the name change of, of human resources to see a human as a resource. And, and the name was changed to human capital management in, in yeah. really pointing out that you are humans in the company and your personnel is, is really your capital. So it's it's really uh, the, the, the backbone of your, your company. And I think over the years that we, we now do this, uh, we, we we saw that change as well in in more the employee putting in in the center uh, uh, of of the company and and the, the knowledge of of an employee is very important uh, uh, in that as well. So all kinds of tools for human resource um, and you need, you need those tools to develop your your employees to attract your employees and then within your company develop them and give them the right skills and being able to. Well, pick the right skills for 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 your employees as well. Yeah. And what I also saw was the shift from uh, doing everything in the HR department, so um, more the HR module as an administrative uh, tool, uh, in shifting that to let the manager do some things, so take over some some tasks from the HR uh, department to a manager, uh, and now also. Uh, taking over parts of that to the to the employee. So now the employee is going to the system uh, themselves and and keying in what they want. So make a request for a change or or to 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 have something, and then it goes to the manager and then it routes to the organization. That's that's I think the new trend is is uh, not only HR departments but also managers and employees to be involved in that and giving them the right tools to do that as well. Interesting. Very good. Um, well, I guess you're not retiring anytime soon. Uh, you're very young. You, not, we can see planning, that. Not planning you know? to. We can yeah. see that. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, what uh, what are the plans for the future for Four Vision? What where do you see the HR technology going as well? Let's talk a bit about that. 
Well, yeah, I think uh, well, just moving forward like like we do now, and and we see a big change in in, in our company uh, as well. In in first having smaller companies, and now moving to to larger international companies, but also in in new places in the world. So we are exploring all parts of the world at the moment. We have projects in in South Africa, but also in Australia, New Zealand, uh, in in that area uh, of the world. And companies are becoming, well, the customers are becoming bigger uh, and have more need of of professional uh, professional tools. So we are developing and making our tools more professional and more robust, and and we are getting bigger companies as well. So that, that will, uh, that will increase. We, we we actually have two parts of our company. So we have a, a SI system integrator where we mm-hmm. uh, um, uh, set up and do projects and implement uh, the the HR module, the standard HR module, but also our own modules. Uh, and we also have a part as an ISV, so the independent software vendor, where we uh, sell our products. So we sell our products to ourselves and we implement it, uh, but we also like to develop more the platform, uh, the, the partner platform uh, to enable partners to to use our products uh, for their customers. So that's that's actually so the direction that we are that we are moving on as well. So more international, more uh, uh, more places in the world, bigger companies, uh, bigger customers, uh, but also um, building out our partner uh, partner network. And more solutions as well. That's uh, that's uh, that's a lot of things going. Um, in terms of uh, HR technology, do you see, for example, more AI coming into place? Uh, there, there is anything uh, right now that you see like it's going to be a big trend um, in in HR, or for now the need is to actually automate streamline a bit better the processes and there's still a lot of work to be done in that area still a lot to happen i think with with ai and and with with chatbots and 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 all kinds of uh, of things in that area as well and that's what you see as well from the technology and 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 microsoft being still a very technology driven uh, company uh, they invent something like like ai they they provide the tools for uh, for doing ai uh, and then uh, they they ask partners to look for um, um, well a purpose for that as well, uh, and I think in AI in, in sorry in in HR we will see more and more AI uh, uh, driven uh, driven things to to make conclusions based on uh, an employee how an employee is developing in a company uh, to track that and and use that data to to make predictions on on how much extra employees you you need or what kind of skills you have to develop within your uh, within your company yeah we definitely one one of those companies that is also yeah very much looking around and see how we can use that new technology as as well in the in the hr space yeah i think like for workforce planning i see a lot of uh, a lot of potential in there like um, you know just just to know exactly where to put employees and when 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 do you know you have them ready to take the next step or something like that i think exactly uh, yeah Work- workforce planning succession planning that that uh, that becomes a very uh, important part for, for companies if par- if companies are are, are growing uh, they need more resources and and making really that prediction of how much resources and how much uh, employees do I need next year? What kind of skills do they need? And and does that match up with with my uh, uh, projects that I have and, and and the needs that I have uh, right now? Yeah, that's definitely processes where where I, AI can 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 support uh, the, the the HR staff to uh, to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. This. Uh this was great. That's all about the questions that I had for you. Um, is there right. any final notes that you'd like to to mention, to say anything? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I, I right. enjoyed I enjoyed it very much, and uh, well, of course, and I'm still uh, what you say. I'm still looking forward to, to the future, and uh, uh, well, I'm excited and and learn every day. So I, I uh, really like to continue to doing that. So yeah, that's a good stance to have. Okay, Peter, thank you so much for uh, for your time and uh, I'll see you soon. All right, Eva, thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye.